Hey guys, it's Contemporary Thon. It is day three and I have yet to vlog anything. I'm doing so well this round. Um, I have read a little bit though, so I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what I've read. Today is going to be a chill day. It's about 11 something. I think it's 11.30 and so far I've just been like cleaning up. I had a bunch of books literally everywhere. Um, so I've cleaned some of that up. I still have a little bit more cleaning to do, but I think I'm going to take a break and read some. I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what I've read. I have been in a reading slump, so it's been a little rough. Um, this was not on my TBR, but I went ahead and finished it up before I started reading anything else. And that was City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I did have 100 pages left. Technically, this is contemporary, but it still is like fantasy because it takes place like currently but it takes place in scotland and there are ghosts so it does have like that fantasy element to it but i did finish this i had 100 pages left so i finished that yesterday i really enjoyed this one i cannot wait for the next one to come out and then now moving on to my actual contemporary thon tbr i read bingo love yesterday it was really good i gave it a three star i think um, there were a couple of things that I had issues with. One, it was super short, so it was like really fast to read, which I did enjoy that aspect of it, but I just felt like a lot of things that happened in this book or in this graphic novel were very unrealistic and a little too convenient for the plot. Um, basically, this is about two girls that meet in the 60s and they are like in high school and they end up falling in love but because of the time period and everything they cannot be together um, and then they meet up again in their 60s 50 years or 48 years later after the incident happens and it's about them reuniting after so many years but they have already like moved on with their lives and you know gotten married and everything and I just feel like the ending of this was very rushed and I feel like the whole thing was very rushed and I feel like the ending was very very convenient and there was very like there was no turmoil or any conflictions and anything like there was just no conflict and it kind of bothered me because of that but I overall I did enjoy it I thought it was really cute so I did give this a three star and currently I am reading All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I just started reading this last night, so I'm only like 25 pages in. Um, I was a little surprised at what this is about, but it like clearly says it on the back, what has happened so far, and I don't know, I guess I don't really read synopsis of books, so I don't really know what they're about going into them. Um, but it does start off with like, cheating and it does alternate perspectives between like seven years ago and currently and so far it's interesting i am liking it um i feel like it's gonna be very sorry i feel like it's gonna be very hard hitting which is good um i do have a lot of things on my tbr and i have only finished one Yesterday I read about 200 pages total, which I mean that's not too bad, but day one I did nothing. Um, I don't even know where day one went, like, yeah. I am kind of like having a rough week, like mentally, which I feel like is always the case for readathons, but it is because um, of like stuff that's going on with me. Basically, this is not fun news for a readathon, but basically, I am kind of like an in in between state right now in life um i'm in between jobs right now so i i mean i'm still employed with my current job but i'm just not currently working and i'm in between starting a new job like i'm in the process of i've already been hired i'm just in the process of getting cleared to work with like backgrounds and drug tests and all that stuff and i am in between going back to school because i just graduated in May um so I'm like reapplying to get in so I'm the type of person that like really likes to be busy and have like everything planned out and certain so right now everything is kind of questionable and it's it's been getting getting to me a little bit like it's just it's, it's difficult to like <laughs> 
stay positive when everything's just so up in the air. Um, so I am trying to like take my mind off of things and stay busy um, with like cleaning and reading and everything. Um, but I do need to do something soon because this is like torture. <laughs> Um, but today I'm going to finish cleaning up. I do have like a bunch of clean clothes I have to fold and put up. Um, I'm going to try and finish this today. And then I'm going to kickboxing later around 8 with Carlos. So you'll probably see him later on today too. Me and him were talking for like a long time yesterday because he just kind of like had to reassure me that... I'm in a transition state and it's not like I'm not doing anything with my life, but it's just like, I don't know. But anyways, enough of that. I guess I'll share with you guys what else I have planned to read for the week. I definitely need to get to Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno because this and More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera are like my immediate TBR. And then if you guys didn't watch my video, I also have a couple of other books I need to get to. So I'm going to pan over so you guys can see. Um, oops, don't look at that mess. So you guys see that right there? Like, this is all clothes I need to sort through. It's probably so messy because, I mean, it doesn't even want to focus on it. But point is, I need to sort through all of those clothes. And then I've been cleaning up, so that's what that box is and that trash is. <laughs> but I also want to get to Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. I have all of these. I have The Serpent King, Quiet Kind of Thunder, um, you'll miss me when I'm gone and always forever maybe. So these three here are a definite I need to read this week and then whatever I read on top of that is just icing on the cake and hopefully I'll get to some of these but I don't know we'll see. I don't really have any more graphic novels for the week so I actually only have like real books to read. Um, so hopefully I can get to most of these soon. Okay, so I thought I'd come in here and give you guys a little catch up. I'm sorry for the lighting and for this. I am not working today and I'm at home. So last night I stayed up a little late to finish All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Um, I ended up giving this a four star. I did not know what I was getting into with this book. I honestly thought it was going to be just like a lovey-dovey quick book and that is totally not what I got um it was a lot darker and a lot more taboo so this would actually be perfect for the darker taboo category um this was for the challenge of my initials on the cover which are c-e-t or c-e-t whatever however you want to count it um but I I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to basically it flashes back between current time and seven years ago between a couple that met um and they basically met this is my doorbell they basically met seven years ago at their partner's home how do I say this like they both were in a situation where their significant others were cheating on them with each other if that makes any fucking sense and i mean it says it on the back um the last thing quinn expected was to meet the love of her life just outside her fiance's front door a year after leaving behind their cheating partners quinn and graham are now in a perfect relationship that seems designed by fate so i didn't read that when i first got the book because i usually don't read synopsis of books i just go based off of like recommendations and stuff um, so I didn't, I was a little, hold on you guys. Sorry about that. They rang more than one time so I had to go. Um, but I don't know where the hell I was in this. So I wasn't expecting it to take the turns it did and it was like very impactful and it, it's definitely going to be a book that sticks with me in the future because it, it talked about a lot of topics that I have never really read about before. Um, it just was very real and raw and it wasn't just like, um it showed like the ugly sides of marriages and how like not everything goes according to plan and it was really good there was moments where I like was totally tearing up last night um just because I could really feel the pain and how broken these two characters were so overall I really did enjoy this it was my first Colleen Hoover book so it could also count for that category I could use this for like 
many um, different challenges and I am so far really impressed with her writing. I th I've heard such shitty things about her though so it makes me a little afraid to read her other works um, but I did enjoy this one. So I do have two more books that are like on my immediate TBR. Don't mind the mess behind me. Look at my little peep. He's so cute. Um, and the two books are More Happy Than Not and Summer of Salt. I think I'm going to go ahead and start Summer of Salt today because it is like a little bit of a shorter book. It's only 250 pages, 256 pages. So I should be able to read this today. It's currently like 12. I've been doing some like, God, that is such a mess back there. I've been doing some applications online because I am applying to pharmacy school right now. And that's just expensive, you guys. Like my application fees are over $300 right now and I'm only applying to like four schools near me but um that's really all I have planned today I have to do some cleaning but I think I'm going to go ahead and read for like the next hour or two until I get hungry even though I'm almost kind of hungry now but I have really high hopes for this this is going to be the one for the five star prediction and I have such high hopes I'm really excited to read this I have no idea what the hell it's about story of my life i also got some book mail in yesterday it's only one thing but let me grab it okay so this is it here um and i ordered this like a while ago it's from amazon and it's a used book but i it said that it was in like really good condition um so this is it here sorry if the lighting just went away um yeah it is it's pretty pretty good condition i think i got this for like six or seven dollars but I've seen this book absolutely everywhere and me and my sister were both oh look it has the little color and bookmark I love those um, me and my sister were both like really interested in reading this book together so that is so cute so I went ahead and ordered it and it took quite a while to get here but I'm excited I got it and this is about it's not a YA novel I guess it's like technically new adult because they are in college together and i'm really excited to read this one i know this is, has been out for a while in like the uk but it just came out not too long ago for us in the us um i don't think i want to read this enough to change my tbr right now um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get to reading i need to drink some water i'm not feeling that great today i've been having this thing this week you guys because i don't know what the hell's going on with me but every single morning i wake up at 4 a.m just just cuz like and I'm just like what the fuck are you doing like just up at four in the morning and it takes me quite a while to go back to sleep and I'm usually not like that like I'm usually a very sound sleeper and then when I wake up I usually wake up around like seven or eight just like naturally but because I've been waking up at four and not going back to sleep till like an hour later I haven't been waking up till like nine almost ten and it's been like killing my sleep cycle but I also need to do this tomorrow I am like turning in this little book bingo thing I have one more I need to fill out but it was like with my local bookstore and you have to turn in by the 22nd which is tomorrow and um, once you do you get a free paperback so that's super exciting I think tomorrow I'm going to get the hell out this house because it's starting to make me very gloomy being here even though yesterday I was not here but still Okay, I hope the lighting doesn't suck completely. I think it is pretty bad. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys some things that I picked up. So, today, or not today, yesterday. And basically, um, I went to do the summer reading thing. Remember when I told you guys I was turning in that book bingo? So the book that I got for free was... I was sliding. Um, Darius the Great is Not Okay and this is by Adib Karam and I'm really excited to read this one. I've heard quite a, well, not that many actually people talk about it and I know it's supposed to be like a really diverse read um, so that's super exciting and I'm just in love with like the color scheme of this one. So I ended up getting this one for free today or yesterday sorry. So that's really exciting and then I went to Half Price Books and just to stop by that they were doing a sale look at my hair like what is this and I picked up two books so the first one I picked up was actually on their clearance and it is The Truth Beneath the Lies by Amanda Searcy Cer 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 um, and this one was only three dollars and it is in like 
perfect condition so I'm not really sure why it was three dollars but I'm not fighting I mean I'm not fighting this what it said in the front I'm not um, complaining about that I'm really excited about this I've seen this like a couple months ago I think it was like a some sort of subscription box book so a lot of people were talking about it but we know like the hype on booktube is real so no one has really talked about it after that so this looks like it's going to be like a darker contemporary and then the last one that I found I'm super excited for it because it's like a newer release it just came out like maybe a couple months ago let me see if I can find it, it came out just says 2018 so it is like a newer release and I'm really excited that they had it there and that is Finding Yvonne by Brandy Colbert or Colbert and this one was only $8.99. It is one of their newer releases. Like I said, it's a little like messed up down here, but it's like nothing that bad. And I was going to like buy this anyway, so I'm really happy that they had it for such a discounted price. So yeah, these are the things that I picked up today. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and switch spots to like my better lighting because I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this week's reading which is super exciting. I got in some reading. I didn't do as well as I thought I was going to do but yeah I'm going to switch over there so we can have some better lighting. Okay guys so I'm going to be doing my wrap up for contemporary -thon. I did end up finishing a couple of books. So the first one that I finished was actually one that wasn't on my TBR but um, I had 100 pages left of this, so I decided I'd go ahead and finish it up on the first day or second day, something like that. And that is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I really enjoyed this one. It is a middle grade novel, her first middle grade novel, and it is about a girl named... I already forgot her name. Her name is Cass. <laughs> and Cass has had, like, a near-death experience, and because of that, she's kind of stuck in between, like... The real world and like the ghost world um so it's like kind of her like adventures of being able to see ghosts and having a best friend that's a ghost and because she's able to see ghosts like a lot of people don't believe her obviously and unfortunately her parents are put into a situation where they are given a show where they're supposed to haunt or hunt ghosts not haunt them hunt them and as you can imagine her actually being able to see the ghost it's going to put her in a lot of trouble and it was really good really fun really fast paced um i wish it would have been a little bit longer but it is a series so of course there's going to be um more books in this series i'm not sure how many though so yeah i gave this one a four stars that's not contemporary though so <laughs> next i read a graphic novel which was bingo love by t franklin and jen and Joy San. I'm not sure. I think I butchered all of those. But I ended up giving this one a three star rating. I love the art style. I loved the diversity in this. But I wanted more out of the story. I feel like a lot of the things that happened in this graphic novel were very convenient. There was like no um, conflict and I know like not every story is going to have conflict but I just feel like the way that things turned out in this book were very convenient so at the end it was just like a ball of fluff there was no depth to it at all it didn't give me what I necessarily wanted um so for the actual like style and the diversity and everything I really did enjoy it but for like the actual storyline I just feel like it was very flushed um, flushed rushed so I kind of felt like it needed more than one graphic novel to be told like they should have split this up into two and went more into detail and like gave a better not outcome but like development of the story I guess um so yeah next I read All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover um this is my first Colleen Hoover book and I know that she's very controversial um but I really just wanted to pick this one up because I've heard a lot of people talk about this one and recently because it's her newest work and it was a lot more darker and like a lot more than what I expected it to be. I went into this thinking that it was going to be like my fluff book where I was just going to read it and like knock it out in one sitting. No, this book was not that. It dealt with a lot more deeper subjects. One in particular that isn't very like isn't talked about at all with women and I really appreciated that. I think I've 
I mean, I know that I've never read a book dealing with this subject in particular, and it was really well done, and I was so heartbroken at times during this book. It was just like, it's one of those books that's going to stick with me for a while, and I'm really torn on how to rate this. I'm leaning towards like a 4.5 because I like really like this book and I know it's going to stick with me and I feel like when a book is that impressionable it should be like higher on your scale. Um, but basically the storyline deals with a couple and it's over like a seven year time span and it's when they first got together seven years ago and the reason they got together was because their significant others were like cheating on them with each other that makes no sense but um but basically like and then it follows like their story seven years later how much things can change and how much certain situations can kind of like destroy a marriage but it was really good um I like the ending I, j I just was a really big fan of this book um so yeah the last book I read I read a lot of good books this this week I didn't read as many as I wanted to but the ones that I did read I really enjoyed so the last book that I read um was a bit of a shock I didn't expect this book to be what it was at all and that is Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno I finished this book really fast it was like the last book I read so I read it like basically overnight because of like because of the storyline I could not go to sleep I was like I have to finish what's what, what's going on um, so, I don't know how to describe this without giving anything away, uh, but basically it's about, there's a lot given away in the synopsis, but it's basically about a set of twin sisters, and they come from a very magical family that's kind of like secluded on this island. It is definitely not just contemporary, there's a lot of magical elements to this, which I really enjoyed, and the main character named Regina, she hasn't come into her powers yet, and usually their family comes into, into their powers by the age of 18, um, and she's like right near becoming the age 18, and um, there's like an internal conflict that happens on the on the island and it starts making everyone like question their family and their family's motives and stuff because they have been known to be like these magical women and um there's just a lot of of depth to this story there's definitely like a lot of trigger warnings for um sorry for like abuse and like um like animal abuse and like rape in this book which I wasn't expecting um so obviously like tread with caution when you're going to read this because it was very impactful and it was very dark and it was very beautifully written it did take me like a little bit of time to get used to the writing when I first started reading it because I had never read anything by Katrina Leno so I wasn't expecting anything that like whimsical um but once I got into it I really enjoyed this one so I ended up giving this one five stars Okay guys, so this has been a week of no makeup, some reading, which was really good, and yeah, I really enjoyed this round of contemporary. I found some really good reads, some of which I wasn't expecting to be as good as they were. Let me see my challenges, because I didn't, I didn't even discuss that, but I ended up reading 758 pages this week, which is a lot more than I normally read. And I think I did meet all the challenges even though I did not read all the books. So, uh, the first one is orange on the cover. And for this one, I am stretching so hard because on Bingo Love, as you can see, her outfit is orange. So I'm totally going to use that. And then a dark taboo or spooky contemporary. To be honest, like either one of these could fit that category. A diverse contemporary um this one was diverse because it did mention a uh female female relationship as well as an ace main care or one of the side characters was ace which was really nice and this is also a very diverse read um what's the next one my phone locked up non-traditional format i read a graphic novel uh your initials on the cover my initials are c-e-t c-e-t and then new to you author 
uh, Colin Hoover is a new to me author as well as a as well as Katrina Leno they're both new to me authors and then my five star prediction was Summer of Salt which actually ended up being five stars so that was nice um, so yeah I met I'm out of focus so I did meet all the challenges for the week which was really nice I did not finish or start more happy than not um, I don't know I'm gonna have to read it soon though <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys read this week for Contemporary Thon down in the comments below and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!